So I decided to upgrade the graphics card to GTX uh, 980 and I decided for this version KFA2 or so called Kallax It's not Kallaxy, Kallax uh, It doesn't actually say Kallax on the box, it says uh, KFA2 but as far as I know it's the same thing I mean it is the same thing And this is the HOF Hall of Fame edition which is the best uh, 980 out there So uh, as about the box, I mean, I've seen better. Asus one is definitely better. Uh, it doesn't have the cover that you can just flip it open if you want to like look at it in the store or something, so it doesn't do that. Some of the good boxes do that, but then again, it's just a box. <laughs> I mean, uh, to look at it, nothing special really. Sorry about the light, it's a little bit weird. The lens flare or whatever. Uh, this has the highest clocks, but let's just unbox this first. Has this kind of stickers in here, and that's all there is. Then it should open up from here. I'm always careful with the boxes, I never try to break them or anything. I just try to unbox it normally and see uh, how difficult it is. Right, little bit of vacuum in there, which I don't like. I've seen some people drop stuff because of this vacuum. And... There we go. Nice padding in here. Uh, so what we have here is obviously the manuals, drivers... Seriously? Yeah, right. Who uses this stuff? It's a freaking graphics card. Uh, these drivers, I believe, these have some overclocking software and stuff on it. I'm not gonna use that. VGA drivers. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just download it from the NVIDIA website, nvidia.com. Uh, ooh, I like that. I might actually hang this on my door. <laughs> overclocking under process. Do not disturb. Get it? It's actually card for this. You can smack somebody in the head with this. Okay. <laughs> okay, just an idea. Right, uh, there's the graphics card itself. Shiny. Well, of course, that's a package. Uh, here we have some... I mean, seriously, they still uh, include these kind of things. Uh, this is like from the Molex to 8-pin. Like, seriously? Anyone who buys a graphics card like this would have a proper uh, PSU, the power supply, and would not need this crap. I mean, seriously? From Molex? Come on. And the VGA adapter? Wow. I'm gonna buy a graphics card, the best 9.8 ever, and I'm gonna use the VGA monitor. Right. So, um, I'll just try to take it out, nice and easy. Uh, nice and easy it was. Nothing else left in the box. Box can go. And that's the piece itself. So let's take it out from this. It has this one sticker on this side. Can't believe I'm having serious issues with this sticker in here. I could just cut it, of course, I could, but. As I said, I'm trying to open everything. There we go. And I can already see it has a nice back plate. And here's the card itself then. The beast of the beasts. And I would strongly recommend not touching this PCP board itself not with your bare fingers. That's why they have these special bags. It's not smart to touch these things with your fingers. I mean, most likely nothing's gonna happen, but I just recommend not doing it, and that's it. Just don't. There is no point like uh, saying, Ooh, look, I'm touching it, nothing's happening. Maybe 100 times something happens, 101 times something happens, and then you're complaining that your card doesn't work. So, just, just say, you shouldn't do that. 
but the back plate it's good you can easily grab it from there uh, look at all god damn it the slides sorry about that uh, see these marks and everything like this one in here hall of fame it has nice grill in here which is for the air and to those who doesn't know the 900 series is using the Maxwell uh, GPUs the archi architecture and this is a uh, more power saving so it should generate less heat even though I mean look at this thing it's 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 massive it's just all this heat sink just to cool this tiny chip in here and this Hall of Fame edition it comes with insane clock speeds where the default 980 I believe uh, I might be wrong in here so um, don't go crazy if I'm wrong I think it comes with the default clock speeds uh, the base clock is like 1100 megahertz something and the boost is 1216 uh, I think but this one base clock get a load of that base clock is 1300 something and boost is 1400 something I will put them on the screen for you so you can see exactly what it is but the card itself I mean very well designed I have to say Hall of Fame edition and if you notice the PCP board itself it's actually completely white which they did mention it so yeah the whole PCP board itself it's also white and uh, from what I read about this card they have completely redesigned the PCB for performance so it should be like really good addition so uh, so I examined the card a little bit and also I didn't show you this side which says Hall of Fame in here or did I I think I did yeah anyway it takes 2 by 8 pin connectors which I do have but this graphics card takes actually less power than the previous uh, good graphics cards because it uses the Maxwell which I said it takes less power and one of the things I don't really like about, well not the graphics card itself, but the company What the hell is this? What is this? It's a button and you can see the wire is going from here to the board so clearly it does something but what is this? Does it turn the fans off? Does it turn the graphics card off or on? What is this? Uh, I tried to look from the manuals uh, this manual in here This is for the default uh, 980s as you can see So this is not even uh, customized for this card. This is very disappointing from expensive card like this uh, I was really expecting more than that. I mean Asus it had Asus Razer all day They have all customized manuals and everything, but this this is literally junk I don't need this because it has nothing to do with this specific card it doesn't even show the right connectors nothing so um, uh, this is a uh, quick setup guide and I highly doubt that this has anything about this button in here I'll just um, I didn't open it before uh, obviously it doesn't as you can see it's just basic shit in here uh, as you can see the back panel it's not even as the same as on this graphics card so again I don't need this chunk and I was thinking maybe I missed it on the box uh, on the box it says what's included is uh, PCI Express uh, power connectors by 2 I guess this is uh, what they meant um, these Molex things which is useless and on the box it doesn't show anything you know usually the companies they put their uh, key features on the box to show like uh, press this button to get whatever that button does but it doesn't so uh, this is this is honestly it is disappointing I mean what what is, what is this do I have to press it on off maybe it's like self-destruct or something <laughs> I don't know but anyway I will connect this card up uh, before that I will look it up from the Google what this button does and once I've connected it up um, I'm gonna just give it a quick test run and see how games run on it. But still, what is this? Ooh, what does this button do? Click, click. <laughs> I don't know what is what does it do. Anyway, uh, I'll connect it up and hopefully it's gonna fit because my current card is a lot shorter, maybe somewhere in here. So I really hope it's gonna fit because if it doesn't, 
I have two choices. I can either swap the PC cases around, which is the uh, current one is my Antec TF75? Is it? I don't know. But I like that case. And other one is um, Lian Lee P80, which is a massive case. And it will definitely fit perfectly. I could fit like 10 of them in there. But I don't, I don't like that other case. I like this one more, the Antec one. So if it doesn't fit, I might have the hard, uh, hard drive case might touch this in here. Uh, if it does, I'm gonna cut it off. Not the graphics card, obviously. I'm gonna just break the hard drive case. I'm gonna just cut the hole in there to fit this part between there, but we'll see. So I'll connect this piece up and give you some tests. So I've uh, installed the 980, as you can see in here, it's installed. And well, it works fine. And I want to show you that it has the LED visualizer. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera icon in the corner for you. So you should be able to uh, see it in the corner now. And this is how it looks like. It's pretty awesome, I have to say. And you can play around with it. Uh, if you go in here, configure. Here you can see all this stuff. You can uh, keep it on, audio flashing. That's what I have it currently. You can select different things in here. There's not many of them, but I'm sure there are like some kind of profiles or hacks you can download for it. And GPU properties, this is what you can do in here. For example, if you put it, um, uh, it wasn't variable, it was, uh, yeah it is, that's that's how it is. And you can uh, check from here anything you want, for example, uh, based on fan speeds, based on temperature, so that's what you can do with it. I don't know why is this fan speed jumping. But you can see it in here, that's the temperature and stuff. And that mysterious switch on the back, it actually is fans. It turns the fans on absolute maximum, it's called the overclocking switch. I'm not entirely sure if it changes the clock speeds, actually. But, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I have to check it out, because I don't think it actually changes anything. It just changes the fan speeds on maximum, so um, if you have any heating issues then what the hell I c clicked cancel okay it's just cancel to default so but I'm gonna leave it on audio flashing which means if my music is playing game audio then it then it uh, does its thing like um, visual stuff and I think it's time to test it out in the games of course I'm using shadow play to record that's what I'm using these are my settings in here if I go into these settings in here, that's what I'm using, and this uh, this is a RAM disk where it uh, saves the temporary files, so it records into RAM. But before I move on into the games, I wanted to show you something. This tool in here, which is like a small hack for it. Uh, if, we, if I go into the NVIDIA settings, which is uh, NVIDIA control panel, and then we go into the um, video color settings and advanced, uh, this is the thing I'm talking about, the dynamic range, but this doesn't apply to everything. It only applies to video player, if you're watching a movie or something, or a video. Uh, basically, if you don't know what this means, it means that the 0 is black and 255 is white. In hex 00, zero up to FF. Uh, this is RGB, which is for uh, red, green, blue. Uh, if you didn't know that, that's that's the only colors your monitor actually shows on the pixel level, and it just modifies the colors. But uh, this is the range that uh, Nvidia has by default, which means your black is not black; it's actually gray, which is 16 after the black. So it's actually gray, and white is not white; white is also gray. Uh, this is extremely bad. I don't know why they are doing this because. Um, all the modern monitors you have absolutely support the full range. I mean, even 10 years ago, all the monitors, the CRT monitors, they, they were supporting the full range. I don't know why they are limiting this. This is like absolutely nonsense. It's like as stupid as Windows 7 saying uh, during the installation, like if there's something goes wrong, it says insert a floppy disk. I mean, come on, people. We are in 2015. I mean, what the hell? Floppy disks and fucking limited color ranges? Move on already, Jesus. 
and this this is like really annoying because the colors uh, suffer from it um, a lot. Uh, I will put this in the download link. It's absolutely free. I have to run it as administrator. Then just click this button, and uh, after that, just restart the PC. I can actually click it right now because it doesn't do anything. And then you just have to restart your uh, PC, and it's done. You can actually do it manually if you look at all these register keys in here. And that's all it does. And that's it. I can't show you the difference because if you have it on limited range and I show you like a picture, then, well, it's just your monitor. It doesn't actually change your pictures. See what I mean? I can't demonstrate this to you because if you have a different range of colors, then it's not going to work. But I'm going to run a few tests and show you the results, so... So uh, currently, well, you can see the frame rate, but I'll just see how it runs in here. Yeah, it's not exactly 60, is it? But the thing is that I'm looking at the graphics card output, I mean the power usage, and it's only on 40%. So definitely not graphics card. Oh, well, I'm going to look over there and, and hold on, hold on. No, it's, it's not CPU. CPU is on 53% to be exact, so... And it is using all 8 cores. They're all about 40 to 50%, so clearly this, this issue is with the game uh, optimization. But, let's see. So I'm gonna go into Options, Video, and take the Vertical Sync off. Hit Enter, and let's see how high this thing can push it. Not so high actually But as you notice look I'm looking down and the frame rate went to 50 uh, Yeah But this is the game issue I'm pretty sure of it Because the power usage uh, I'm just checking it now it went 54 55 so yeah, this is pretty much the highest uh, frame rate you will getting in this game And just before I quit this uh, this quick review on this uh, test, I mean, uh, it is eating up all 4 gigabytes of video RAM right now, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> that was an awesome move. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was a really awesome move. But yeah, as I was saying, it's using all 4 gigs of the video RAM already. Like, what the hell? I'll see if I can actually turn down the... Um, shadows uh, let's put it to medium and let's see if that changes anything I'm just testing nope absolutely not and the usage went down 3% actually it is now like 40 to 41% what is this? so yeah it's like unfortunately this game cannot be maxed out Crisis free. So let's hit this thing. I've cranked it up on absolute maximum. I could able to. I was able to do. I think this is the best settings it goes. Let's see advanced graphics. It's max. It goes. Everything is maxed out. And I'm gonna just see how good frame rates it's gonna pull. All right. So here's the test for you. I think I had, yeah, I had a little bit higher frame rate with my 680 SLI, I think. But it, it moves very smooth, to be honest. I think SLI was worse, to be honest. I mean, the actual gaming experience, what I'm talking about. It's very, very smooth, and it doesn't feel like whatever you see in there. It feels like 60 frames per second, to be honest. And again, if I look at them... Um, Usage, okay in here, yeah, 72%, now that's more like it, but I still think it's uh, like, no, it's not stuck in the game engine, it can't be, but why isn't it using 100% then? I'm gonna hit the switch on the back, what I showed you before, and see if it actually overclocks it or not. So, um, right now we're getting 50 frames per second, so I'm gonna just stand up and hit the switch and see what happens.
Uh, absolutely nothing happened. Yeah, nothing. So it is not an overclocking switch, it's simply a fan switch and currently the fans are doing good job, it's 57 degrees only. And let's see. Well it is very playable and this is the absolute maximum you can put and this game has been the most graphics hunger game ever. And as you can see, this card can do the job easily. And don't forget that I'm still recording by the way with Shadowplay, don't forget that fact. Even if I stop recording, it's still uh, in the shadow mode, so... It is very smooth, I have to say. Whoops. But yeah, I think it's gonna work uh, the same in every area, so I'm gonna... Assume that it works like this and I'm gonna pick you one more game. I think Far Cry 4 and then I'm done with the testing So I'm in Far Cry uh, 4 now and I'll show you the settings what I put I put custom because I wanted to put everything on ultra and make sure it actually stays on ultra even simulated fur everything 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 And now I'm gonna just try it out And here it is on absolute uh, ultra and of, of course, of course, there's just, oh my god, there just have to be fucking people shooting all over the place. Like when I started doing the review on this game, that was crazy. But, here's the frame rate demonstration for you. And I don't think it's using the full power of the card. I think, again, the frame rate is just stuck uh, on the game itself, that the game is not optimized enough that... They didn't think that anyone would have a good enough graphics card to run it to maximum. I don't know. It's like almost in every game I can show that. If you crank it up on maximum then they just won't run. That's a nice picture in there. I mean look at this. It's like, I don't know. I remember it actually running about the same with 680 because it was like the same crappy thing what it was doing it was just crapping up oh man I mean the games are just not optimized uh, enough to run on absolute ultra so I'm looking at the graphics card usage it's not that much to be honest at least I don't think it is it uses about 60 to 70 percent so but if I do something down However, the RAM issues, VRAM issues, have been solved. Now it's using 3 gigs of uh, VRAM right now. So yeah, it needs about 3 to run this, because with 680 I had serious stuttering problems, like... Um, let's see if it does this, actually. When I was driving fast, out of my way. Are you kidding me? Fucking rabies dogs, fuck off. There's like something wrong with shadows. I don't know what's wrong. No, no, no. Oh my god, right in the butt. What is wrong with these animals? <gasps> that is not what I had in mind. I just wanted to do beep beep. Oh my god. It doesn't seem to stutter because it started... Ow. Oh my god, they're gonna, they're gonna still kill me. Ow. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Enough, 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 please. What do they have? Eagle eyes? Ow. What the fuck was that? It doesn't seem to stutter actually. Come on, right, they're still chasing me. Wow. Now it's pulling good frame rates. I'm gonna do more testing and more gaming on this card and I'll definitely update them. Videos, I mean, make new videos and keep you up to date with this. And also at the end what I wanted to say is that if this video is getting 500,000 views within one month then I'm gonna do free giveaway and give away one of my old uh, GTX 680s. Yeah, I'm gonna do that so. But only within one month if it gets 500,000 views then I'm gonna actually give away one of my old cards. And I'm gonna actually do that. How did, how did this work? Okay, there we go. And if you want to see one game or many games tested, then leave a comment and I'll test it out for you and see how it works. 
But anyway, so much of the 980. And I'll see you next time.